Γεια σας αγαπημένοι μου! Over the years, dealing with my students who learn Greek, I found myself making the same corrections over and over again. So that's why today I'm going to share with you the top 5 plus 1 common mistakes non-native speakers make. I'm so happy to announce to you that this video is my first collaboration here on YouTube with another great teacher, I think you know her, and this is Yuli from Linguatry. My video is the second part, so you will find the first part on Linguatry's channel. The link is in the description box. Και πάμε να ξεκινήσουμε. Mistake number one. Nominative instead of accusative. For example, είμαι στο σπίτι με ο φίλος μου. No, the correct is είμαι στο σπίτι με τον φίλο μου. I'm at home with my friend. I know that cases is something difficult for you, but you can remember two things. One, I use accusative after a verb as an object. And two, I use accusative with the prepositions, after the prepositions. I mean with these small words me, ya, apo, se, etc. If you struggle with the cases, I could make another video to explain everything. If you want that video, just comment below. Mistake number two. The nationality adjectives. For example, ο Γιώργος είναι ελληνικός. Instead of the correct, ο Γιώργος είναι Έλληνας. Γιώργος is Greek. This mistake is very reasonable if you think that in English there is only one word, this Greek. But in Greek, we have three words. We use two of them for people, Elinas for a man, Elinida for a woman, and the third for the rest. So we wouldn't say Elinas cafes for the Greek coffee, but we would say Elinikos cafes. And we wouldn't say Elinida simea for the Greek flag, but we would say Eliniki simea. In general, we would use this ελληνικός, ελληνική, ελληνικό to say that something comes from a place. So, when you want to talk about a person, remember, don't use these endings οικός, οικί, οικό, ok? Mistake number three. Πάω για βόλτα instead of πάω βόλτα, I go for a walk. Actually, we would say Πάω για ψώνια, I go for shopping. Πάω για ποτό, I go for a drink. Πάω για ψάρεμα, I go for fishing. Or πάω για παγωτό, I go for an ice cream, etc. But rarely we would say πάω για βόλτα. Actually we can say πάω βόλτα or πάω μία βόλτα or πάω για μία βόλτα. If you want to learn more about the Greek verb γένω, you will find a video I made in the description box. Mistake number four. Don't use prepositions before days, months, years, seasons, holidays and parts of the day. For example, don't say στη Δευτέρα instead of τη Δευτέρα or στο καλοκαίρι instead of το καλοκαίρι. Actually, in English there are three prepositions for this purpose, on, in, at, but in Greek we wouldn't use any preposition before these words. We would use just the word, the day, the month, the season, etc. with their articles, but be careful, in accusative, ok? So, we would say, πηγαίνω στη θάλασσα το καλοκαίρι, I go to the beach in summer. Τη Δευτέρα θα πάω στο σούπερ μάρκετ. On Monday I'm going to the supermarket. Έχω μάθημα αύριο το απόγευμα. I have the lesson tomorrow in the afternoon. Έχω γενέθλια τον Ιούλιο. My birthday is in July. Το 2021 θα σπουδάσω στο πανεπιστήμιο. In 2021 I'm going to study at university. Τα Χριστούγεννα θα είμαι στο σπίτι. At Christmas I will be at home. Although we use the preposition σε 
to tell the time. So we would say, έχω μάθημα στις πέντε το απόγευμα. I have the lesson at five in the afternoon. Mistake number five. To use the imperfective aspect of a verb instead of the perfective. For example, would you say, θέλω να ταξιδεύω στην Ευρώπη or θέλω να ταξιδέψω στην Ευρώπη. In Greek, every verb has two stems. Let's say the present stem and the future or the past stem or the imperfective aspect and the perfective aspect. The imperfective aspect describes a repeated action or still in progress. The end of the action is not yet known. In this case, we would use the present stem of the Greek verb. And the perfective aspect describes an action when it's a single completed occurrence. And in this case, in Greek, we would use the future or the past stem of the verb. So for the verb taxidevo, the present stem is this taxidev. And the future or past stem is taxideps. So when we have two verbs like I want to travel or I can travel, in Greek the second verb needs to be in the present stem when it refers to an open period of time. For example, θέλω να ταξιδεύω σε όλη μου τη ζωή. I want to travel my whole life. Or μπορώ να ταξιδεύω πάντα. I can travel always. But we would use the future or the past stem of the verb when the action refers to a close period of time. For example, we would say θέλω να ταξιδέψω στην Ευρώπη. I want to travel in Europe. Use the present stem of the verb when you talk about an open period of time and use the future or past stem of the verb when you talk about a close period of time. And finally, mistake number six. And this is a bonus for you. It seems easy, but you need to correct it if you want to sound like a native. So, in this question. Τι κάνεις? How are you? Would you answer Καλά και εσύ? Or Καλά εσύ? Of course, both are correct, but Greeks wouldn't say και εσύ. They would say just εσύ? Okay, so do you think that you make these mistakes? Let me know in the comments below. Also, write if you want to make this video about nominative and accusative and don't forget to check Yuli's video as well. Εμείς τα λέμε στο επόμενο μάθημα. Γεια σου!